Hiya. Hiya. Hello. Hello. It is. How are you? Oh, hello. I'm not too bad, thank you, sir. My name is Katie. Um, Hi, Katie. Yeah. Give me a quick call today, sir, about your washing machine that you have at 3 Cavendish Square. Oh, uh, OK. Which one? Uh, uh, I've got it down here. It's the Hoover one. Oh, the Hoover washing machine. Yeah. OK. Yeah, yeah but give me a call with the uh, manufacturer's protection plan when the machine is finished. And oh, it hasn't, has it? Oh, <laughs> no. So we just get in contact with you just to go through everything. OK. Um, Uh, it is, yeah. It cleans my clothes once they're soiled, and then uh, they come out clean. Yes, excellent. That's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Uh, you're still living in Hull, is that correct? Uh, it is, yes. Yeah, they they yeah. do say it's the Venice of the North, Hull. You know, I haven't had the yeah. pleasure of visiting it, I'm afraid. So. What, Venice or Hull? Hull. Oh, OK. Have you been to Venice? No, I have been to Venice. OK. <laughs> um, so, yeah, as I said, what we'll do... Uh, Manufacturer's warranty uh, will continue to give you cover for your call out charges and repair costs. Okay. Uh, also, if the engineer comes out and they can't fix the machine, they may just replace it with a brand new one for you as well, Mr. Sellers. Okay. Um, Does that include accidental damage? Uh, it includes mechanical and electrical, or no accidental damage, I'm afraid. Oh, right, okay. Um, um, so, what we'll do is we've actually recently just reduced our cost, so it's gone down to £76 per year, and that's on our three year plan. So, that's okay. going to keep you fully covered again all the way through it until January 2021. All right, how much is that? Is that a month? Um, well, we've got different ways of doing it. The total cost of the plan is £228, so you can offer it as a one off payment, or you can break it down over a period of six, three months or six months. Right, okay. What would, um, how much would it be a month if I was doing? Um, we don't do it monthly, monthly. But if you want, it basically works out roughly about six pound a month. Right. Okay. Okay. How much is that a day? Well, should we just go day? with mm. Christmas? Oh, no. Okay. So we don't offer that payment schedule for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, what's that? Two hundred and twenty-eight pounds for the uh, three-year plan. All right. Okay. What What's that excluding VAT? Sorry? What's that excluding VAT? Inclusive of VAT, sir. No, I need it excluding. Oh. Okay. Um. So, at the moment, I'm currently practicing for the world's strongest man, and uh, I use my washing machine as uh, to deadlift. Um, so if I damage it, is it included in the insurance? No, sir, that was after the accident damage. Okay, so it was only because we only covered you for the mechanical and electrical fault. Right, okay. Okay. So if I had a power surge, it would uh, cover it? It would depend on the reason of the power surge, uh, but yeah, potentially if you'll see if it's due to mechanical and electrical fault, then yeah. Uh, okay. Right, okay. If you've got a power surge due to um, you've been filling with the electric, then obviously no. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. So, me doing a little bit of DIYing on my electrics is not uh, a, a wise yeah. thing to do. Yeah, basically, if, you're, if any work's happening which isn't being carried out by a professional or right. authorised to do the work, all right. Right, I'm a, I'm a professional strongman. Does that count? No, it's a Ah, oh, right, okay. Okay. Sure. within that field. Okay. Right. Okay. So, obviously, what we can do, so we can get it all set up for you, get all your confirmation out in writing, you'll receive that in the post in the next couple of days. Right. Um, do, you, do you do it in Braille? Because I'm practicing learning Braille at the moment. No, that's great. We would only do it if it was actually a requirement, sir, not just a need. Okay, so if you physically need it because you're blind, then obviously that's something we can look into for you. But if it's just because you're practicing, then obviously we would need to send the documentation out to you in your most, in, in obviously written English. So obviously you can actually see what's happening. So obviously it's a legal document, so you need to be able to understand it. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> but if I wear my blindfold, I won't be able to read it. So right. could you still send it out in Braille? So if you want it in Braille, it's entirely up to you. We can certainly organise that. It's not a problem, obviously. Okay. Excellent. It'll be in English Braille, won't it? It won't be in foreign Braille. No, sir. It would be English Braille, yeah. I don't think, I don't think Braille has an international language, to be fair. No, they do actually have different um, uh, dialects of it. So the American Braille is slightly different to the English Braille. Yeah, I know they did that. The BS, I know they did 
to get the sign language as well. And, and, the, and the Scottish Braille as well. Right. Because it, it, they say I a lot. Right. And we and laddie. Right, sir. Right, so does so anyone get the sign set up for you? Okay. Yeah, okay. Aye. Um, your postcode, it's H, I've got a postcode down here, it's HU31SS, is that correct? Aye, that's right, lassie. Excellent, okay, um, if you want to take a, a pen and paper handy, so I'll give you our number, so you need to get in contact with me now, and the arrival of your documentation, you can do so. Okay. Okay, so the telephone number is 0800. Uh, that's 0600. 0800, sir. Oh, zero six hundred. Zero eight hundred. Zero eight hundred. Yeah, zero two three six two seven. Zero two three six two seven. Zero. Well, I looked at the thing. Uh, so it's not 67, no, but 0, I'm 2, sure 3. Three, two, <laughs> two. So are you having difficulty writing? It would add it on. Or do you have difficulty with your hearing? Pardon? Right, so are you taking this? Right, so the difference number will be on the documentation for you. You're having difficulty at the moment, okay? Okay. And the rest of your address for you. It's 3 Cavendish Square, Margaret Street, Hull. Is that correct? That's right. Um, best telephone number to get in contact with you on? Uh, this this number is the best number to get in contact with me. Excellent, brilliant. I want to quickly confirm the brand of the machine that you've got. Okay. The make of the washing machine that you have, sir. Okay. Can you confirm it for um, Pardon? Machine that you have, sir, you know, the one that you deadlift. Oh, right, the uh, the white one that cleans my soiled underpants. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Um, it's a uh, indicet. Okay, fair enough. All right. And so, I said we will set you up on the full service plan, that's a discounted price equivalent to six pounds per year. How would you like to set that up? Is that going to be on your MasterCard or your Visa debit? How do you know I've got a MasterCard? Sorry, how do you know I've got a Mastercard or a Visa card? Well, it's just up to you. How do you want, how do you want to set it up? Most people do generally have a, either a Mastercard or a Visa debit. Right. Um, I've got uh, an international uh, credit card uh, that has Drachma on it. Uh, do you accept you Drachma? To, no, so you would need to have an English bank account. Right, okay. Um, do you know what the conversion rate into Drachma is? Right, okay. Um, what about euros? I don't know the conversion rate for euros, sir. So we need a British bank account. I'll see it's equivalent to £76 a year, £228. Per what would that be in yen? So we're doing sterling. Okay, obviously you've got a British bank account. So we're your MasterCard or your Visa card. Which one would you like to do it on? Um... You don't have to take it out either. So. Um, well, I, I've got quite a lot of old £1 coins. Can I just send them off to you? No, we don't do cash. Don't you? Well, how am I meant to get rid of these old £1 coins? Go to the bank. All right. It's novel, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, so, it would actually, if we do it, how many pounds is it? 200 and what? for the three-year plan, sir. Um, right, so... That would be... Hold on. It'd be... Two, mm, £228. Hold on. I'm just moving some money around. It actually works out at um, 34,704 Japanese yen. That's good to know. Obviously, this plan is in sterling, so that's how we would charge it. 
Right. You're not fucking going ever. Um, right, okay. So you don't accept yen? No, it's sterling, we accept. Obviously, being minded, it's a uh, British, British warranty, governed by British law. The payment is British sterling. Ruled by Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, so £228. Pounds. God save the Queen. Yeah. God save the Queen. Yes, sir. God save the Queen. Would you like to take this plan out, I, sir? I do know the Queen. Excellent. Good for you. Would you like to take the plan out, sir? Um, is the poop Catholic? Yes. Literally is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if I just need to confirm some card details for you, sir, so we need to take it out with a MasterCard or a Visa card, whatever's your preferable for you. Um, old one pound coins. But as I said, we don't take card payment, we don't take cash. Well, can I not post it to? No, sir, we don't take card payment, we don't take cash. Well, I could take it, I could send it like via UPS or DPD. Or, take car payment, or another form of courier to you, so you could sign it, then count it, and then you could bank it, and then it saves me going to the bank. Right, so as I said, if you take car payment over the phone, if you can't do it today, then unfortunately we won't be able to get the plan sorted. Oh, that's not what I want. I'm sorry, sir, that's the only option. Um, right, um, do you accept camels as payment? Uh, you're not clearly not taking this conversation seriously, so if you don't want to take out the plan, just say so, we can both move on with our lives. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying my life. Okay, well, I'm really enjoying my life, so this conversation is very amusing, I won't give you credit for that. So thank, you, thank you very much. Alright, uh, okay, well, you enjoy the rest of the day, uh, thanks for being a good sport, and we'll uh, maybe talk later. Alright, bye sir, bye. Bye!